Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today begins a series of tutorial videos revolving around the latest exciting updates to the 3Play 3P2 system that you can download right now from our website. Now part of that update makes your 3Play 3P2 system compatible with a touchscreen monitor, making things like tagging your clips super easy, which also has a cool change to it, allowing you to customize your tags, making your life in replay land even faster than before. So, let me show you how it's done, son! Alright, so here I am on my 3Play 3P2 interface with the newest updates installed from newtech.com slash downloads. And today I'm going to be taking a look at the tagging side of things. So let's go ahead and go through some of the, uh, you know, some of the changes that we have in here. Okay, so the first one, uh, I'll just let you show you. So I have my uh, different tabs here open at the uh, bottom of the screen here, my tags list. And uh, on a traditional way of doing uh, uh, replay is you are going to have nine rows and nine different columns to choose from. And one of the biggest updates here is if I click on add I'm sorry, edit tags, I can start to add additional rows in here. So check it out. So no longer am I you know, married to a nine by nine. Uh, I can now make this nine by whatever. And what makes this interesting is because like how I mentioned earlier uh, in my intro is that the 3Play 3P2 is now a touch screen uh, uh, compatible. You can now go through here and instead of saying, uh, you know, using your uh, 10 key on the uh, a three, three play control panel, you can just simply start to touch these uh, with your finger, for example. So just say, hey, I'm gonna hit with that, I wanna add that, I wanna add that, boom, hit enter, and now we are up to date. Okay, so that's how I tagged that one. But uh, again, now that you have additional rows here, you can make this add as many of them as you want to a specific tab. Now, where this gets interesting is because you can use a touchscreen uh, monitor with this, let's say that we have our touchscreen monitor assigned to our secondary uh, multi-viewer on the three play. So what we can do is go up to the top of the screen here and I'll go to workspaces and under multi-view number two you'll see that this is kind of what we would normally see uh, but then here at the bottom we have an option for making our multi-viewer strictly a tags pane only. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me swap over to my secondary monitor. I'll go ahead and click that. And now check it out. Now our secondary monitor is just going to be assigned for tags. So this will be really cool if you have a touchscreen interface. You can literally just go through here and make that a dedicated tagging monitor and just start to go through here and touch these buttons. But let me go ahead and go back to my primary monitor and just put everything back the way I wanted it to be, just so we have everything right here on screen. Okay. So, uh, now some of the other changes that you're going to be able to do in here uh, is let's go ahead and I want to edit some of these tags. And this is where we're going to get really fun because I can have some different styles and layouts available to me. So if I click edit tags right here, let's go to this first one. We've got Dale Cooper. Uh, now I can go through here and I can change the text size if I want. Uh, I can make it bold italicize, underline it even, uh, adjust the alignment of where I want the text to appear on the, uh, on the, in the box that it's actually in. So this is going to be very similar to what you would have on, say, like a, a spreadsheet kind of formatting. So I can also change the text color. We'll change that to red. And then I can also change the background to blue. All right. And since I'm still in the edit mode here, check this out. I can go through and scale these the way I want them, so I can make these buttons bigger, etc. And if I want to reset that, not a big deal. I can go down here to uh, the reset side of things, and I can say I want to just uh, uh, keep, I want to, uh, I can reset everything, or I can say I just want to get rid of the styling here, so I'll do that, and you'll see that it retains the uh, box uh, values as far as the sizing is concerned. And if I go down to layout, that will bring that back here as well. Okay, now some of the other changes in here is, I'm going to leave this edit uh, mode open, uh, is I can go through and if I right click on this particular tab, check this out. Now we have an option is I can delete all the other tabs that I'm not using uh, just to kind of, you know, clear up some uh, clutter in here. So I'll say delete all others and it'll give you a warning here. Hey, you sure you want to do that? Yes, I do. Go ahead and click that and bam, all of my uh, additional tabs go away. And also I can even duplicate this one. So if I right click on that particular tab, I can say duplicate it. And then I have an alternate version of this that I can go through and make changes to it, et cetera. 
Okay. Uh, but let me go ahead and delete all others. Say yes, I just want to focus on this one particular tab. All right, so let's go through again, and I will make that bold, change the colors back to that, do the background. All right. And let's scale that just a little bit. So I'm not going to go through each and every one of these because that would take me a while. But what's awesome about this, too, is you can then say that if you want to export this tag, what it'll do is it will create a, a zip file for this. So we'll just call this uh, experiment. All right. Now, I currently have it to where it's going to save the CSV and the styling in here. All right. Or you can just bring it down to just the CSV file, which is your typical uh, tagging uh, format. And I'll say, let's save that. Okay, and if I go back into, say, I want to import it, just say import tags, and then I can grab that, and it's a zip file, so it'll have your CSV file and then also a .json file that will uh, bring in the styling uh, for your different uh, 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 tags, uh, tabs that you want to have in here. Okay, but let's go ahead and leave that alone. So uh, let's say I want to have this. I'm not going to use the uh, control panel today. It's just easier for me to show you this way. Let's say I want to have this particular clip. I want to mark that. So I'll just say, all right, that was Dale Cooper. Uh, he did a three-pointer here, and that is a wide shot. Okay, so you'll see that that all adds in right there. Click enter. Bam, good to go. Now here's where you can do something even more interesting, which I kind of love. So there's now an option within your tags to add a, uh, an export command so that you can add your clips to your export media tab uh, while you're in the middle of you know doing your your show. So to do that, let me show you that. I'll go to edit tags and I'm going to go to number three here. And the syntax of this is important. So what you'll need to type in here is going to say your open bracket and then star and then in all caps type in export. All right. And then star and close bracket. Bam, like that. In fact, let's make that big, giant, and red. There we go. Cool. So now we know what we're doing. All right. So let's go back into, let's say, another clip here. I'm going to take another one, say this camera three clip. Doesn't really matter. I'm just showing you the tagging side of things uh, going here. And now let's go ahead and actually it doesn't have any footage. Uh, that would be helpful if it did. There we go. Okay. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and tag this particular clip. And so I'm going to say, all right, uh, Richard Evans just did a dunk and did a close up. And you'll see that's adding all up here. And I'll also click export, all right, and click enter, and check this out. So let me get my tags panel out of the way here. So now you'll see that that is tagged that clip with Richard Evans dunk close up, and then it has a little green tab here on the side of it, meaning that that has added that to your export media tab. And if I go up to export media here, let's click on this. Now you'll see that that has added that clip to my export media and I can export this whenever I want to and it has all the tags that I have put into that clip so I can find that file super duper quick and easy. So as you can see a lot of really cool things that you can do inside the new tagging system with the latest updates to the 3Play 3P2. So highly recommend checking it out and of course you know have some fun. So as you can see, using these new tools for the 3Play 3P2 can help make tagging super easy. Now for more tutorial videos like this one, subscribe to the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. For formalized New Tech product training, make sure to check out New Tech University available at newtech.com slash newtech u. And for more information on New Tech products and services, contact your local New Tech partner or you can visit our website, newtech.com. And if you're posting your work using new tech products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags new tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you are working on. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of Tuesday Tutorials.